Hello, hello, my lovely, lovely people. DTX720 here, and we are again. Part 15 of our playthrough of Pokemon Sword. We just got done beating Opal in the fairy gym, and she asked us a bunch of questions, and it was god awful, and he struck a nice pose just now. Let's run down our team, shall we? We got Toxtricity, Santa Scorch, Corviknight, Rillaboom. We got the girls, Dreadnought, and Hatchram. Those are our girls of the team and the boys. Chilling with the boys. Well, nothing much has changed about our team. It's still the same other than a couple levels. Alrighty. Let us be on our way out this door door and see what waits for us probably some NPC encounter of some kind there it is not NPC hold on now I've got a few errands in to run hammerlock you can to join me let's stay in hammerlock sure sure I guess I'll join you lady Oh, all right. Hmm. This floor is so dirty. Somebody needs to clean it. Hammerlock always such a dusty town. Hey, you know what? That's funny. I made that joke about this the place being dirty, and then literally she said it, and I didn't read her text. Though I suppose some people prefer it this way. Some people are just filthy heathens. Let's go into the Pokemon Center. I don't know if they healed me up, but... Let's go in here and heal up real quick. Bam, 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 meow. Yes. Don't talk about my toxicity, Nurse Joy. Well, let's see. Um, what TMs do you have, man? Don't really have anything that's like super major for me. Thank you though. Do you have anything, sir? Because I beat the gym. Do you have new items? What do you have? <gasps> we could finally buy Ultra Balls and we're gonna do that. We're gonna buy like 20 Ultra Balls. Let's make it 25. Yes. And we're gonna buy a couple Hyper Potions. Do no, no. Even numbers. Well, fifteen isn't an even number, but you know what I mean. It's it's a five. It's in. It has to be either even numbers or intervals of five, multiples of five. It has to be either even numbers by twos or multiplication of five. That's just a weird OCD thing I have. Don't judge me. So, so what are we doing? Are we, am I supposed to be going to the station right here? The stadium? I believe so. Oh, look who it is. It's that freaking guy. It's this a-hole. What's up, dude? Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away from my gym challenge status revoked. Whoa. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course. Well, I suppose you... Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I'll have you know that... Though that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. That boy. That boy. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. <laughs> Time for my gym mission, child. What? What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Pink! 
Pink! And pink! Congratulations, child! Congratulations, what? Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Oleana, am I right? You work hard to gather the wishing stars for her, only to have to her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put into. Are you... Are you testing me? Very well. I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to... Chris, that's there. Christer? Chris? Christer. 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 I think it's pronounced Christer. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, so she said she wanted to retire. Is is, is she gonna make bead her 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 replacement? I believe Route Seven is this direction. So let us go. Oh, oh look. It's our best girl, Sonia. Hey, the bridge collecting going well? Badge, sorry. I've been doing some research on the ruins and stone side. The sword, the shield, what kind of Pokemon were they and what are they now? I still have so many questions, I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in- Kaboom. Oh jeez, what was that? Are you kidding me? What was that? Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's where the Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Hmm, a power spot. What's wrong? I'm getting readings of a power spot detector. Does that mean Dynamaxing is possible there? Here? Hey, Sonya and DTX2. You feel the shaking, right? See Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I could make sure the chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going too. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So, duh, duh, I just started to get the gym badge. Okay. So all this cool stuff you're just gonna do uh, off screen? Yeah, I hate you, Jay. Well, I'm having to go between so many different voices. What's up, guy? First at first, now the mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come with me to round seven and a bit of competition motivates me. Right. I'm coming, broski. Oh, there's another Pokemon Center here, too. I'm gonna go in here. Check it out. Anything going on here? Any of you people have anything to say? No? How about you? What do you have? Oh, yeah, more things. Hey, these are some good moves. Hmm... These are some really good moves, and you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to buy them. I'm going to buy these fang moves. Because those could come in handy. Yes. Goodbye. Now let us follow Hop in this direction. But first... Let's go into our bag and who can learn these fang moves? I hope I didn't just buy them for nothing. Sasquatch can learn that one. Dreadnought can learn Ice Fang. And he can also learn Thunder Fang. I might teach him Fire Fang. Set a Scorch. Yep, for sure. I'm getting rid of Ember. For that. 
Thank you. Who can learn acrobatics? Draining Kiss. You can also learn Thunder Fang, but Dreadnought can learn Ice Fang. And that could come in handy. But what do I get rid of? Hmm. You know what? I might get rid of Dig for now. For now. Just to get a little bit more coverage on our team, Firefang. Do you. Can I get rid of another move to teach you Thunderfang? No, I'm gonna keep what you have for now. Yeah. Alright. Okay, cool. Well, those those moves did come in handy. We were able to teach some people them. Let's get a move on. Gonna run through. Alright, you can't see, but yeah. Yeah, we're gonna battle. I know. I, I can hear the music. The music cue let me know that you we are battling against each other. Hop. Dude, dude, you're gonna get wrecked, man. Ooh, now you're using a Trevenant, huh? I like how he keeps changing up his team. It's pretty unique. He's pretty unique, I will say. My latest and greatest team. Oh, you do say so, huh? Hey? You're gonna get a Venom Shock and it's gonna hurt. There you go. Didn't hurt that much, but... You're really gonna try to confuse me, man. Don't confuse... Confusing toxicity, man. That's not cool. Not cool. Don't hit yourself. Thank you. You're not confused. You're a warrior. Shadow Claw did some decent damage there. Really? You're gonna use a hyper potion? You mother. You mother. Well, I snapped out of being confused. Let's use Toxic. And power up in a shock to kill. You are badly poisoned. How dare you shadow claw me again? You freaking dead tree and you hopping boy. You're gonna get a Venice Shock, bro. And it's gonna wreck you. It's gonna utterly wreck you. There we go. Sorry, guys, I gotta adjust my. Just my sitting position here. Apologies. Alrighty. Let's get a move on. Who are you gonna send out next? Snorlax, eh? Snorlax. Snorlax, you are an intriguing one. Let's stay in for now. Because Snorlax is just a normal type. So nothing's going to be super effective against him. Let's poison him, because he might be a problem. Snorlaxes are occasionally problems and... We're gonna kill some of that bulk that he has. Ooh, body slam, hurty. Okay, so Venoshock might do some really good damage. Not enough to kill, though. Let's heal up. We can use one of those newly bought hyper potions. To heal up Toxtricity, our rock star. Okay, I will live another body slam unless he gets a crit. Let's pray that he doesn't and let us finish shock and hurt him a little bit. There you go, that did some decent damage. Okay, I will live a body slam. Here we go. 
It looks like we're in the clear because the next Mana Shock will kill him unless he uses Rest or another Hyper Potion. Okay, he did not. Goodbye, Snorlax. Yes, almost everybody's getting a blow for you. Hatchroom, you're falling behind there. I'm gonna learn Poison Jab. Well, you know what? I can get rid of... I'll get rid of Spark for Poison Jab for now. I want to keep Toxic and Venom Shock, though. Heat more. Let's get Dreadnought out of here. Let's bring in Dreadnought. I accidentally said get Dreadnought out of here. Let's get Toxicity out of here and bring in the girl Dreadnought. And then we will destroy Heat more this Anteater Aardvark looking monstrosity. Will waterfall kill? Yes, it will. <laughs> that rhymed. I'm a poet. I did not even know it. Yes. You are defeated. Well, how you're going to be defeated? Soon enough. Boltund. Okay, we're not going to be faster than Bolton. So we might switch out. Who can fight Bolton though? We don't really have an, a direct answer for electric types. Let me see if I can get a good... Let's see if I can survive a Bolton strike. And get him with a good a good rock tomb to hurt him oh nice thank you dreadnought see that right there Ooh, that did good damage that right there people is the benefit of getting your Pokemon at max friendship and happiness in Pokemon camp I'm faster than your Bolton it's crazy an Ice Fang should be boosted um, in power for Dreadnought. It's a really good move to have on Dreadnought because of uh, it's a biting move and he has Strong Jaw. So. Inteleon. Now we will switch out. We'll go into Rillaboom. Rillaboom. Gotta be careful though, because I'm pretty sure Inteleon does learn U-Turn. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can still use U-Turn even if it is your last Pokemon. I'm not sure about that though, so might have to be careful. Let's use Drum Beating. This is the first time we're using Dr Rillaboom in battle. We haven't came across very many water types or situations to use Rillaboom. Rillaboom. Show us your Drum Beating. Whoa! Boom. Deader than a doorknob. Yes. We're gonna make it through here. What did, uh, uh, what did you have for breakfast, Hop? A big ol' uh, knuckle sandwich. You son of a gun. Get that coin out of my face. Alright, man. Are you... Gonna continue to be depressed or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. You'll heal me up? Alright, thanks, man. Get out of here, you mongrel. I'll see you at the next gym, probably. Alrighty, now we are on. Whoop. Lady, chill. Ether. All right, let's fight this lady. 
bite, actually. I'll grab this first. A bomb mushroom. Actually, I want to catch this Perserker. Perserker! This is the evolved form of the Galarian Meowth. This is Perserker. Clearly based off of a Norse Viking. Norse, and Norse mythology and or Viking. I believe you're a steel type. So... Yeah. Who can fight you good enough to catch you? I guess Dreadnought can. Dreadnought can try. Good job, Dread. Let's do a crunch and hope it doesn't die. Okay. Fury swipes. Really? 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 Are you done? Five times? You're redonkulous. Let's do another crunch and I think it should live unless I get a crit. Oh gosh. There we go. Thank you for not getting a crit, Dreadnought. Taunt me, do you? Okay, now we're gonna catch it. I'm gonna throw a great ball at it. It should stay in a great ball. Maybe it's leveled. Will not do it though. It looks like it's going. There we go. Simple enough, we caught Perserker. This Viking cat. Viking cat! Viking cat! Go to the box! What's in the box? Keep Toxtricity in the front. Let's see what else we face along Route 7. She has a Dusk Ball. So that could mean... Nothing because it's in it's a Rabombi inside the desk ball. Okay, but you are a furry type. You will be hurt by poison jab. Dazzling gleam didn't do much, man. Bam. Um Toxtricity is actually a really good Pokemon in this generation. He, he's like at least the one I have is a very good mixed attacker. He has good special attack and attack. His special attack is a little bit higher, but they're like two or three, maybe four points difference. Vespaquin, eh? Vespaquin. Discharge? Might kill you. There we go. It is super effective. It's like a bug zapper. I can't help it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it reminds me of Bugs Life every time. You know that one scene from Bugs Life where, where there's that dumb bug? Oh, hello, Team Yell. Am I not allowed to go this way? Alright. Um, oh, no, no, stop, no, are you serious, did you guys see that, did you see that garbage that I just got caught with there, backed into a freaking corner, get out of here, get out of here, thank you, let's fight this freaking aviator looking guy, what's up aviator, what are you, a pilot? Cabbie. You're a cabbie. What the hell's a cabbie? Oh, you're... Oh, okay, you're like a, one of the dudes who does the Corviknight taxis. I wish we got like some cutscenes for when you're riding a Corviknight taxi. And I meant to say cutscenes, not cuck scenes. <laughs> Dead. That's some fried chicken right there. Some electric fried chicken. A 
Rufflet. Rufflet will still die to the hands of Toxtricity. Your little baby eagle is uh, is about to be fried chicken. Looks like Foghorn Leghorn's uh, chicken hawk child. Get out of here, chicken hawk. So, so is an eagle just a big chicken hawk? Debate that, peoples. I'm telling you, an eagle is just a big old chicken hawk. It looks like a chicken, you know, white head and all. But it got like a mixture of a beak that a, a hawk would have, and but it's the color of a chicken's. You know, the yellow, the yellow beak. And it makes kind of the same noises as a hawk, you know. The screech. Who's gonna fight us from this? It's either gonna be a Greedent, a Squavit, or a Cherim, or a Truby. Cherim, Truby, whatever. Damn, I got a lot of berries, man. I'm gonna walk away. That was a lot of berries. I just won't even. I'm not even gonna fight with whatever that thing was in there. Just gonna move on. And then all of you can leave me the hell alone. Oh, look at Galvantula. Wandering the wild. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, I was not fast enough. That dude was gonna catch me. Lipard, get out of here. You freaking cat, and you're stealing my color scheme here? Well, I guess technically I'm stealing your color scheme. You came first. You disgusting Gen 5 Pokemon. My part is one of those Pokemon. I don't hate any Pokemon. There's not my use. I'm starting to hate you though, Berserker. Getting on my last freaking nerve, man. There's not really any Pokemon that I hate, but um, that cat thing, Leopard, is is one of them. It's a cute looking Pokemon, but it's like for some reason I just don't like it. it looks really bland. What are you? Oh, another one of those. Galvantula, on the other hand, is really cool. That's an example of a great Gen 5 Pokemon. The bug types in Gen 5 and the bug types in this game are both really good. I'll say that. What is going on here? Look at this. They're like some runes. Wow. Ooh, there's an item there. How can I get to that? Okay, I can tell. Alright, uh, Gol Golurk, or whatever the hell you're called. Let's see what's in the grass. Oh, there's a Drapion in the grass. A Pinch Pinch. Get out of here, Pinch Pinch bug. Poison Lobster, get out of here. Don't! I really you're gonna cross poison me. Dude, I can poison you too. If you're really gonna do me like this. I'm out of here. You serious? I swear to God, if you kill me. You really wanna do this, man? Don't make me... Thank you. Gosh. Let's move. <laughs> Let's move this guy now. Because he's hurting. Let's, uh... Let's put him in the front. I feel like we're going to meet a lot of bug types here. Okay, we can't go down there, so let's come... Let's walk down here and fight this lady. Hello, lady. Are you Carolus's sister? Doctor. Doctor scientist. Doctor doctor. I knew you were a doctor. Rosalia. Nice. Send out Corviknight. Look how badass I am. Straight out of an Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe novel or poem. Poem, I suppose. He writes poems. Nevermore, says the Raven. I think when I start nicknaming my, my team, I'm, I'm thinking about giving them names that fit. And he is 100% going to be named Nevermore because it's just apropos. No, you're not learning swagger. You want to learn... You want to fight a Hatchrim. Can you fight a Hatchrim? No, we're not going to fight a Hatchrim. But Scourge can fight a Hatchrim. 
Santa Scorch, you will wreck Hatrum. The question is, do we use Bug Bite or do we use Crunch? What are we gonna do? Whoa, whoa, I'm not trying to switch out, I'm trying to fight. There we go. Mm, let's use Crunch. Crunch will better guarantee a kill. There we go. Yet again, Bug Bite would do some decent damage too, because it is stab with him being a bug type and all. Everybody's catching up except for you, Hatrum. Catch up. Catch up, Hatrum. Catch up, damn you. Okay, let's go around this rock here. And we're gonna go this way, because there's this item here. Shiny stone. What's right here? Hello. What can we find in the tall grass? Ooh, a dust collapse. Now nah, we're gonna avoid you, you freaking creep. You're a freaking creep. You know what you look like? You look like a. Uh, look like the dad from Cloudy, the Chance of Meatballs. Except your eyebrows don't cover your big old disgusting eye. You're like a cross between Leela from Futurama and the dad from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Three X defenses. Let's go down here. Maybe I should have gone the other way first. Oh, look, I can go this way. It's up here. I want to take the side course. Aha! Smart strike. Smart strike. Oh, look, it's that new Pokemon right there. It's Phalanx. Look at it marching out. I want to go get it. I want to go get it. Let's go get it. Let's go. No, no leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Bird, no. You, you freaking chicken hawk, man. Get out of here. I'm going to freaking ruffle you. I'm going to ruffle your feathers, you son of a... Get the hell out no! Heard of you already! Ugh, sorry, excuse me, yawning. I just woke up not that long ago. Moving on. Gonna come down here. Gonna avoid. Why are there stairs here? What do these stairs have to do with anything? Okay, avoiding. Uh, there's an item there. No! Oh. Bulldore! Bulldor is one of the weirdest looking Pokemon ever. I literally just like like some some crystal rocks. It's pretty interesting. Okay, we're gonna run from you though. Get the hell out of here, man. I don't wanna fight a rock. You know, birds and stones don't mix well. Okay. There we go, there's a phalanx. Let us catch it. Phalanx! Yes! Phalanx is cool. It's like a really unique idea for a Pokemon. And it's like based off of like the Spartans, it looks like. So, I believe you're a fighting type. I believe Phalanx is a fighting type. Maybe a pure fighting type, I don't know. It kind of looks like it's a bug also, you know? It kind of resembles a caterpillar. Then use your turn and get out of there. I'm just going to Dreadnought. Even though this might be a bad idea because it is a fighting type, like I just said. But Dreadnought might be faster, and Dreadnought might be able to get some good damage with a crunch so he can catch it. Oof, that wasn't very good damage. Reversal! Okay, I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead, but... Dreadnought does have good defense. Let's Ice Fang it. Dreadnought, can you freeze him, please? Freeze him! Damn. 
Oh, jeez. What is this? That move is a trip. No retreat. Oh, so you're just gonna raise everything, huh? Phalanx can't retreat. Alright, you ain't going nowhere, bro. You're not gonna need to retreat, because you're going in an ultra ball. Get in this ball, you... You mess of... Creature. Oh my goodness. You have a hell of a catch rate, don't you? You mess of creatures, you're going in this ball. Whether I have to sit here and catch you like a freaking legendary by throwing like 80 Ultra Balls, you're going in here. Thank you. You son of a gun. Yeah, Merry Christmas! Merry Holiday and Happy Christmas to you, Phalanx. You now belong to me. You son of a gun. Go to the box. Where well, you will rot for the rest of your eternity. Okay. Nothing there that is the deadest of ends. Nothing to prosper. Let us... No, don't touch me. Aha! Pixie plate. Well, that can work for if we had an Arceus or a Soul Valley. Oh, look, another Phallix. We caught one in the grass. You know, the one I caught just now in the overworld that came out of that tunnel is way cooler than you. Like this Phallix right here. Complete disgrace. Hey, and they're genderless. That's interesting. Well, I guess the gender is very, you know, hidden, I guess. It's very, you know, up to interpretation, I suppose. Can't really tell. Ah, girder, come on, man. Ugh. I swear, the whole timber girder conk elder is, oh my god, they're one of the most disgusting looking Pokemon ever. Like, they're just like big old nasty veins. I don't want to go this far, but man, they look like they look like monster monster dicks. They look like like large peni holding inanimate objects working in construction. They look gross. They look like those bodybuilders that are like nasty with all their veins popping out and stuff. Token of Maru, bro, you look just, this rapper looks like, man, he looks like the PPAP guy, kind of. <laughs> Token of Maru, you're gonna hurt me. Oh gosh, don't kill me. That hurted. We're gonna use you turning and get the hell out of here. Oh, you had iron barbs too? Forgot you had that ability. Porcupine hedgehog looking thing. But we will go into Sun of Scorch. Where hopefully we won't die to an electric attack, but we can kill him with a fire type attack. Okay, live this. Oof. Thank you. Firefang, kill. Thank you. Am I gonna get affected? Yeah, I'm gonna get affected by iron barbs. Okay. Who else do you have, man? Who else do you have? That's it? You just had one? Alright, Charles, get the hell out of here. Go back to doing uh, covers of Gundam style. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus. Phalanx. King's Rock? How awesome. You know, so in Pokemon in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield... God! Phalanx came out of nowhere. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, I uh, made it a habit because every Pokemon ever in history was available in Pokemon Sword and Shield due to the whole National Dex thing. In this game, of course, it was a big old deal when the game came out that the whole National Dex wasn't a thing. But... Back in Sword and Shield, when the National Dex was a thing, I 
had caught literally every single i made a mission pretty much to catch every pokemon ever and just have them be able to keep them in pokemon bank and trade them over all my shinies all of that stuff all that jazz can you get out of the way why are you in the way you're like literally a big rock in my way uh oh man what was i saying we're gonna take this dude down. He might hurt us though. He might kill us. Hopefully we can kill him because he's a... No. Alright, shit. We're dead. Oh, he used x -Z. Why would you do that? Why didn't you use a rock type move on me? Let's see if he'll use a rock type move on me. If I hone claws or if he's just gonna x again. But when it came to the dex, I... In Pokemon Sword and Shield, when I was completing the entire dex, the only thing that I, like, couldn't do was get... What is the one? Um, the evolution of, of Seedra and Horsey. Um, Kingdra. Kingdra. And it evolves using the King's Rock. And in order to do get a King's Rock in Sword and Shield, the only way I can find... Not Sword and Shield. Sun and Moon, the only way I can find a King's Rock is by going up the battle tree or whatever and getting battle points. And... The battle tree was like so lame and boring. I like couldn't get invested in doing it. And it wasn't like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon where you can encounter like red and blue and all the legendary like trainers. It was it was it was in Sun and Moon, so it wasn't as great. It was pretty lackluster and boring. What's over here? Oh TM. Break break, see now that's a decent TM right there. Brick break, yes. Let's move on. Let's get out of here. Let's come over here. Or you're gonna. Uh, I don't want to battle you. Ah, uh, the battle. Wait, are they? That lady like almost didn't even see me. <laughs> yes, let's fight. Come on, get it over with. I'm gonna beat you both down, business people, colleagues. You're pretty cute though, Allison. That's a cute character design. Okay, both of you are ground types. So this is good. This is good. It's decent. It's decent good. Well, maybe not because both of these Pokemon are very hurt. Hmm. Gonna try to fight him off the best we can. There we go. Oh, Rock Slide's gonna kill me though. Shit. Ooh! Thank you, Corviknight. I mean, send a Scorch. I thought Corviknight was gonna leave. Confused. I did not. Hold on. It said Santa Scorch lived. Alright, you destroyed him, Santa Scorch. Thank you. Who's the one that survived at 1 HP is about to die to the... It's about to die to the Sandstorm. Ah, oh, it was Santa Scorch, alright. Well, he didn't die to the Sandstorm, but he did bite to... He did die to a crunch. His hippos biting us. You know, hippos, fun fact, happen to be... Like, have the most strong bite, I think, in the Animal Kingdom, and all of the Animal Kingdom. So that's something right there. Okay, we still have a minor advantage. If we use Droplek on Lucario, it will do some damage. It might not kill. But we can use Razor Leaf and hit both of them, and hopefully that will kill Hippodon. No, it didn't. Jesus. Razor Leaf is a not so powerful move. Now Lucario is dead because I luckily got a crit. I'm telling you, getting that happiness friendship up in Pokemon Camp, playing through this is way easy. It like makes it a breeze. Such a breeze. Um, I guess let's just steel wing it and kill it. Put it out of its misery. Oh, well, we're gonna razor leaf it and put it out of its misery. Get out of here.
Yes. Cool beans, man. Cool beans. Now, of course, I'm going to get hit by some more sandstormingness. You still got more Pokemon? What the heck is going on? I thought I was done with you. This is not cool, man. Not cool at all. I'm going to U-turn out because I'm going to die. I guess I can use knockoff on you. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and of course, you're going to use fake out. You know what? Don't fake him out. I'll smack you. <laughs> Bop you on your forehead, you disgusting creature. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, doesn't really matter, but let's go into Dread now. And Rillaboom, can you, like, just keep smacking him in the forehead, I guess? Rip that coin off of his head. Is it even a coin anymore? It still looks like the same design as the coin, but like different now does it still count as the coin taunting me will be your demise finally the Sam storm has ended yes dreadnought will you be a deer and please kill this thing for me before I have to smack it in the forehead again no you know what I'm gonna give it one more smack in the forehead <laughs> there we go Wow, Rillaboom is faster than Dredna. That's kind of surprising. Because Dredna is pretty quick. Rillaboom is fast, I guess. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't try to take selfies with me. Don't like you. Is there anything going on over here? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew there was something going on back here. Terrain extender? Interesting. Let's talk to this girl. It'll create a wave point. A waypoint, I believe. Whoa, look, she got all the easies. Look at this. This is cute. Get them, Corp Knight. Eat them all. Eat all of these cute creatures. Eat them. Oh, wow, this is cute. Eevees. Eevees everywhere. Evolutions for days. <laughs> that was cool. That was a cool little moment there. Yes. So I believe talking to these people that have uh, tents on the routes, it lets you have an easy flying waypoint to the route, which is something new. All right, let's go down this tunnel. Depending on what's the other side, I might call it an episode, but we might keep going because there might be something on the end of this tunnel. No, there's not. Alrighty, Roo, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the snowy, snowy side of the Galar region. Look at it, it's nice and beautiful and snowy. We're gonna freeze our way. We're gonna <laughs> freeze our way. No, 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 better one. I got a better one. We're gonna we're gonna freeze right here and continue and pick it up. We'll melt it all off next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love my videos, please hit that subscribe button and the like. Stay tuned for more. Love you 2000. Goodbye.